Hello, today I wanted to make a quick video showing you how to set up a domain purchased on Squarespace or Google domains that has been transferred to Squarespace um, and set it up for your Shopify store. So to begin, head down to settings in the bottom left hand side of your uh, admin dashboard, scroll down to domains in the left hand side menu and click connect existing domain. At this point, we're going to head over to your Squarespace domains. So it's account.squarespace.com slash domains. Make sure that you're logged in and you should see a list of all your Squarespace domains. In my case, I'm going to use script, scriptstash.com and I'm going to go to that page. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on DNS and make sure that I'm at DNS settings. From here, we're going to remove all custom records. I only have one, so I'm going to go ahead and press the trash can on the right hand side and press delete. We're now going to need to add three types of records, one being an A record, one being an AAAA record, and one being a C name record. Let's start with the A record, and I'm going to have all the information in the description down below for you to copy and paste when you need to, and I'll show you what that is. Let's start with add record. For the host, this is going to be at. For the type, this is going to be A. For the da data, we're going to go ahead and put in an IP address that I'm going to copy off screen here, and this is what will be in the description, and then press save. Next, we're gonna add a quadruple A record. So go ahead and press add record. For the host, we're also gonna have it be at type quadruple A. And then I'm gonna go ahead and post this, paste this IP address in here. This will also be in the description. Um, all the information you'll need will be there. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And there it's saved. The last record that we need to add is a C name record. So I'm gonna go ahead and add record again. I'm gonna go ahead and put the host for dub dub dub. The type is going to be C name. And then the alias data is going to be shops.myshopify.com dot. And this again will be down in the description. Make sure that this last period is there. It's very important. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now that we're all saved, we can head back to our admin dashboard in Shopify and type in the domain that we decided to send to this um, Shopify store. So mine was www.scriptstash.com. I'm going to go ahead and press next. And I'm going to go ahead and then press verify connection. And it's going to take a second. And there it's all verified. And we're all set up. I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like, subscribe, share it with whoever needs this information. Um, it's all very helpful to me. So thank you again. Bye bye.